Afternoon everyone. Welcome to Hoosier Outdoor 1969. Uh, today I'm doing a little work on my uh, mountain bike here. What we have here is a 2022 Stump Jumper Comp Alloy and it has what they call a flip chip technology. Basically what that is, you can adjust your bottom bracket height, which would be the center of your crank to the ground, uh, by seven millimeters or roughly a quarter inch. What that is, is on each side you have this screw and a cap on the back side and same thing on the other side. So what you do is remove this screw, which is a five millimeter. I got these pretty loose because I was <clears throat> uh, trying it out first before I decided to record. Yep. And then you drop your back cap like that. And on both ends, see how it's kind of oblonged. One way is low, the other way is high. So in this case, with the bolt, if you're Looking at it from this way, so right here it's in the low position. So this on the back side, it would look like that to go into the high position. You take this back cap off plus this one, which I'll show that in a second, and it will rotate like that. That will put it in the high position, which raises your bottom bracket roughly a quarter inch. So you pull your back cap off, grab your bolt and your front cap. When you do that, you'll feel your suspension loosen up. Let's lift this up a little bit. Basically what you're doing, oops, dang it, didn't want to do that. Basically what you're doing is this part right here, you're moving it either forwards or backwards. Now let me fiddle around so I can get this spacer back in there. Because I didn't quite want it to fall out, just like the back one just did. All right. I'll grab this one so I don't lose it. All right. Now as long as you don't do what I just did there and lose your spacers, uh, what you'll do, this is the front one. That's the low. When you flip it, basically flip it 180 degrees, it would be in high. So, if you look at it from this side, it's oblonged also. So, uh, give me, whoops, wrong way. Yeah, so with the screw facing front, the hole, forwards like so. Take your bolt in. You have to wiggle a little bit. Let get your bolt to slide through. Grab your back cap. Oops. Now what I what I did, I got it started. Grab my wrench. And just thread it in. And lock her down. Uh, it does not have to be super tight. Because so, it's gotta, you know, it's gotta move. I'm going to go ahead and do this back. Uh, I can wait on the back one. But I was looking around on YouTube trying to figure out who, what, and where, and I didn't really see a whole lot of videos out there. Uh, some of them, if I can do this up, just drain the camera here. On some, the flip chip is here, but I think those are on the older models and different versions. I think on the Evo versions, depending on which one you got, some are here. And some are here. Uh, what we have here, back out a little bit. Oops, wrong way. Okay, so this is my sump jumper. Uh, this is the comp alloy. Uh, the only thing that's not stock on it are actually the brakes. It came with the uh, SRAM brakes, which uh, I just couldn't get the feel for them. So I ended up switching over to Shimano's. Uh, I went with Dior uh, 6100 series. And that so far is the only change I've made. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the only change I've made. Eventually, uh, was it on this one or my other one? Actually, I think that's on my rock copper. It's one thing I like about SRAM over uh, Shimano. SRAM has a little lockout feature for the derailleur right there. So take your uh, cage here, shove it forward. That unlocks it. Then to lock it, you just do the same thing. Grab your cage. Just put a little pressure on that button. And you feel it pop in and it holds and keeps the chain under slack so you can get your rear wheel in and out a lot easier. Let's see. What all we got? Oh yeah, I put a bottle of cage, a cheap pump that I got a while ago. Uh, it's 130 front and rear. Uh, Fox. Yeah, Fox on both. I think this is what they're 
DPS float uh, with trail tune, whatever that is. Full suspension is new to me. And you got the Fox 34 rhythm up front. Uh, this one here is a S5, which in essence would be an extra large. Uh, I got Bontrager or Trek. That's inside who owns, who owns Bontrager. Uh, lock on grips. So nothing wrong with the uh, uh, specialized grips. I just like the feel of these a little better than what was on there. Had these on my hardtail, which I still have my hardtail. Uh, that's where the air goes in. You got your uh, compression here. And clear down here on the bottom. Up underneath here is uh, rebound. Uh, same thing here. You got compression and rebound. Well, I've only been only been able to get out a few times on. I know the one of the first time I was out, I ended up face planting. So I with a brakes feel. I don't know if I just didn't have them bedded in all the way or what, but I'm sitting there grabbing and grabbing and grabbing, and nothing's happening. Next thing I know, I'm going over the bars. I had a short little video where I thought I busted my tooth out on it. Uh, and after swapping the brakes out because of that, because I just I don't know, I just didn't like the way they felt. I finally got a good good ride out a few weeks ago. So I wish I didn't record that. But definitely felt a lot better. It's not trying to buck me anytime I get a hit a bump. That's what was one of the things that was going on when I uh, first got it. I'm slowly getting it dialed in. So I'm kinda ready for some warmer weather. Thought about going out today, but I think eh I felt like being lazy, so decided to stay home. You know, I might go out Monday. It's supposed to be a pretty nice Monday. But, well, I say, going back to down here, on the drive side, it's the same deal. This is where the spacer goes. Before I put this one back in, I gotta get my uh, bearing spacer in there. But there's the hole I was talking about. That's in the high position. Then if it was back here, where my thumbnail's at, that would be the low position. And as I said, what that change is, is from here, or in essence, the center of your crank to the ground. When you go into the high position, it raises it seven millimeters, roughly a quarter inch. Main reason why I decided to change it is I was actually getting quite a bit of pedal strikes, which eh, is kind of an unnerving feeling. Uh, yeah. So that's all I can think of offhand. I know in the future, I'll actually get a little ride video, better ride video on this. Well, that's all for now, so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.